you enjoy. You two. Leg and one, which means long, tall, and skinny. And keep on repeating it. Dinner one, dinner one, dinner, dinner one, dinner one, dinner one. And I'm talking about the emu. When my mates hear that one, they will automatically start dancing like the emu, the dinner one. So buzz the lips, roll the tongue, use the voice. So I can use my voice to imitate all of these beautiful animals in Australia. And that's what the little boys in the tribe used to do. Example, if they hear a cockatoo with the yellow crest on his head, if they hear a peacock with the pretty feathers in the tail, but what I must do as a Yadaki player, I must keep the breath going non-stop. Now it's this simple. No human being can possibly blow out of their mouth breathe up their nose at the same time. It's just impossible. You can't do it only if you've got two heads, okay? Simple as that. So I hold my breath and I puff my face out and I just go and I squeeze my cheeks. There's a little pocket of air inside. It'll come out. It'll keep my lips moving. I'll breathe back through the nose and then spit it out again. So you've got to hold your breath, squeeze your cheeks, breathe up the nose, blow out of the mouth. Hold the breath, squeeze your cheeks, breathe up the nose, blow out of the mouth, wriggle the tongue, use the voice all at the same time. If you can do that, you can come up and play one. It looks like this. Same thing over and over, but just as the yidaki gets longer, it gets deeper, pretty much like the trombone effect. Now it's time for track two.